Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Titus, and today we got another reaction video for you. We did these last year, it was pretty fun watching everybody's videos, but another season has come and gone, and now we want to look at what's new going on and what videos that we may or may not have seen last year. And today I'll be reacting to Josh from Outdoor Limits, the Flyways Collective, one of the members that we have that we've come together collectively to shoot ducks together, to hunt together, to be friends, to hang out. And it's really been a great deal. So today we're going to be reviewing or reacting to his video. Um, all I see right now is it says they didn't know I was there. It's a solo kayak mallard limit. You just put the words mallard in anything and it makes me smile. So let's get right into this. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you can, help us out and give the video a thumbs up. Let's get started. We're back at it again. I got the quack yak loaded down and we're gonna do a little layout hunt out of the kayak today. A little layout hunt um, in the kayak. So, I don't know I don't how know today's gonna I'm go. Curious I'm curious if he's using the uh, cold front. It's supposed to come later this week and it should push a bunch of birds in. Discovery. I'm really curious to see what's happening in this marsh Old Town we're going to today. Or not? So, I'm packing light. I have I know he's got a sweet setup because he's sent uh, pictures, pictures before and you can't even see. They're a little smaller, but they fit great in the kayak. And then I also have my motion ducks. Motion so ducks, we all know motion ducks is killer. If you guys haven't heard of that, you guys really need to check it out. Today. Um, hide's going to be key. Doesn't feel like we have a whole lot of wind right now. but It's so right. He's so, we'll yeah. see how it goes. I'm excited, but I got to get going, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get everything set up. Just kind of putting the final touches on everything. Got all the decoys out, and uh, it's filming in the dark. I tell you what, guys, it's a pain. Hold on one second. Get you as bright as I can go. Um, there we go. I got my kayak. Working oh, on brushing good. it in. I'm tucked back up in. That looks really good. Tall grass kind of stuff. Got two dozen decoys with the motion ducks and one spinner out there. The wind's kind of switching from my left side to kind of, it's kind of Sounds kind like of a deadly today, combo. So I'm kind of set up for that wind switch. I think having the hide be really good is going to be important. Having motion on the water is going to be even more important. And also on my way in here, I kicked up a bunch of ducks. So they're either night feeding, which I'm pretty sure they are. See, and, that's uh, so scary. Sometimes when like, you kick ducks off, birds here, but you don't know if cycle where they're going to come back or if easily. they don't, so, you know, so we'll give I've had go, them come back and then and I've had them never come back. Hopefully we get a few. Just got to make sure we get that motion in the water and make sure the hide's buttoned up. I think I've got a good feeling about this. That's a good group of birds. Nice and easy now. Let's check it out. It's like they might do it on this one. That's so tough seeing that many birds too when you're so. Oh my gosh, they're locked up. Come on, commit. They're cupped. Mm. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. Get him. Get that one. Oh. They get one? I think he only got one, huh? I got one, boys. He smoked that first one. I mean, plastered it. He hit that one. Totally hit it. I don't know how he didn't kill that one because he hit it. Looked like he was right where he needed to be. That didn't happen exactly how I wanted it to, but beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> Worked him in nice and slow with that motion. I can't remember if he said that was a 20 gauge or not. He did exactly. There goes what? There's a bird right there. Pretty much exactly what you want. Look at that. Oh, green baby. Green. Thick bird. Green. Big old neck. Fully plumed. 
My hide looks really good over there. Yeah, see, I mean, yeah, you so literally can't even see that. To this side, which I really don't want. You can't even see that. I mean, that's so, just incredible. I don't know. We'll see what the next group does. We got a nice green head. See, that's what we're going to do next year is we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna, I'm, more, I'd like but... to get a cover for my kayak, but also I'm know. looking into the Momar, green, the Momar stuff because... I don't think they I have a, they have some pretty cool setups of stuff you can do like if you're on refuges or wherever you're at and just brush up in you can hide, sit in good. definitely um, stay tuned for that because you're gonna see us using that this year here, which I'm not a fan of so I don't really know what to do here so I think I'll just wait for the next group and see what they do but solid 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 group working in only got one which is a bummer but you know. You can't win them all. <laughs> we'll get this guy set down over here. And we'll wait for the next group to show up. Perfect. Ah, it's perfect. 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 Yeah, That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, man. I missed my opportunity. Mm. Okay, I had to make an adjustment. Um, the wind is not doing exactly what the weatherman said it was going to do. So, of course. <laughs> I finally got a good beat on where the wind was coming from. It was kind of swirling, so I couldn't really tell. But um, moved into some thicker brush, which is perfectly good for the hide. Um, had to move the decoys out and kind of set up for a north wind. So I was kind of set up backwards. Um, I, it's just weird I hate that. how the wind does that. But Directions, everything, that's for sure. There's a hole down in here. The wind's swirling funny. But I was working some ducks, and they just didn't want to give it up, and I think it's because of the wind direction. So made some adjustments, got the hide figured out. Yeah, that that hide looks so good, honestly. For those birds that grass is perfect for brushing it up. Shoot a few. But... Definitely he is, and he did really well. I remember last year he did really well decoys. with that setup. Take a look Just getting there. birds in so uh, tight. They're going to come down into the hole here. So, got a couple over there, but ideally they'll kind of land out in this pocket right here. But better get buttoned up. Hopefully we can get some more ducks to come in. Here we go. Those are big groups. Those are days like that when you're out there, like, it's fun being solo, but then you're like, man, I kind of, there's, could have had three more guys out here, just for the size of those groups. <laughs> the wind is perfect. You can just tell it's just a perfect ducky day, like, partly cloudy, sun's coming in and out, good wind. Oh, oh, get him, son. There we go. Nice shot. Mallards, bro. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just maple leafing down. I think that's his 20 gauge, too. I'm pretty sure that's his 20 gauge. He, he stoned those two birds. And honestly, there's no way he could have got a third shot. They didn't too far. They hit that wind and they're gone. That I, I would say that... Getting two out of that block is very, very well. Very That's good. That's what I'm talking oh about goodness, right there. They came out Beautiful of like, birds. They, they kind of came out of nowhere. I saw them. They worked their way down into the marsh. And uh, I lost them for a little while. And then they decided to show back up. And they just dumped right in. That was awesome. 
The wind is definitely switched. It's gone from a prediction of southwest, which it's definitely not, to uh, north. North wind. And it's getting cloudy and cold. Just saying. Guys, we got two more mallards to shoot and we'll be limited out. 20 gauge strikes 20 gauge. again. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think that's his Benellian too. Green heads in the marsh out of the kayak. Oh man, this is wonderful. Absolutely. You never, wonderful. never, never forget days One like that. One more group that does the same thing. We'll shoot two more and then we'll be out of here. Limit it out. I haven't had a limit this season, so getting a limit today would be pretty sweet. I think the the only big duck limit I've had was when I was in Nebraska, but it was like five teal and one spoonie. So it'd be nice to shoot a limit of mallards today. You can't ask for much. All more. right, let's get back at it. Another big group. I remember seeing this video and thinking, man, look at all those. That's that's big groups. Definitely migrating birds. He gets two right here, he's done. That was a good call waiting, but sometimes in situations like that, it's tough to wait. You never know if it's like, are they gonna work out farther or are they gonna be in closer? That was probably a good call. I mean, obviously I wasn't there, but I bet you he was thinking they're going to bounce. They make enough passes and they're not doing it. I mean, you they never know, right? They could have, maybe next time they would have came in, but. And they just didn't want to give it up. See, he just said that they didn't want to give it up. So that is such a beautiful looking spot. Like just the feed there, God, the that's water pretty. level. That's a mallard heaven right there. That group just worked and worked and worked and did not want to commit all the way. So the wind blew my uh, blind door open. And I'm like, well, I can take a shot on this one or I can risk scaring them all away. Oh, man. So I took a shot on that one. And just a beaut green head, baby. Up to four. Need one more and we're limited out. This wind is kicking. Birds are moving. This is a great day to be in the marsh. Um, the hide is amazing here, here here especially with my kayak like look at that that looks so good they don't even that know looks I'm here so good so this is what I've been waiting for <laughs> yeah baby all right one more duck one more duck one more duck god this is perfect two up top It's probably gonna be like a flock of 50 birds and he only needs one. I don't see him yet on the video. He's calling. Oh, there they Oh, wow. Just floating. Oh! Well, he's dead. I burned down a clue where that he's cleaned that one up good. That's a limit. Well. Uh, that was better. That, at least it wasn't a big, huge group or something. I thought I messed that one up. Hey, you know what? Nobody understands how hard it is Can on those windy days. I mean, that bird was close, you could tell. But nobody understands how much that shot moves you. Well, boys. I messed up the Drake only <laughs> limit. Oh, well. That's all right. We just shot our first mallard That's limit awesome. of the year, baby. Would you just look at that hide though? That looks, yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. And that is how the cookie crumbles. Mallard hen to end it off. The first mallard limit of the year. And we packed light today. We brought two dozen decoys. That's perfect. Motion, perfect dozen setup. Redder, two dozen decoys in motion. Like, you don't need a lot to get it done. I think the hide is the most important part of this whole deal. Like, let me shut these doors. They'll probably blow open with the wind. It's really strong today. Yeah, we'll see but what this looks like all closed up. Taking a step back and looking. Oh, on the jerk cord. Yeah, like, that's money. That's a hide right there. And I think that's why I had such great success today is my hide was on. I had to adapt to the wind and it just seemed to work. Those uh, birds coming off the fields just wanted to work in the marsh. So I'm gonna get everything packed up and meet you guys back at the truck, but golly, it was a good day. That is a good day. That's a solid day. Can't go wrong with that. I love the smell of green head in the morning. All I gotta say about this hunt is just wow. That was fun. I did not expect when I woke up this morning to shoot a limit of mallards. It was wonderful. But if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video if you haven't already. It means a lot when you guys do that. All it took was a little wind, a little cold, a really good hide, and uh, setting out the decoys and it did the trick. I think that the first duck that I shot this morning, that group came in because of the motion on the water. Oh, absolutely. Um, after that, we had enough wind where all the decoys were moving. But that's a, without that's that the thing that's spreader nice about that. for motion ducks, I don't think that group would have came in as easy as it did. But it's a great, great, great start. I'm loving, loving, loving this duck season so far. It's been rough, but it's starting to kind of turn around. I think it's looking really good. Um, I haven't had any hunts this year yet that I can think of where I haven't shot a duck. So that's always good. You know, I've been scratching them out two, one, two, three at a time, you know. But to finally fill out a mallard limit, that's a good feeling. And doing it with the 20 gauge at that. Well, that'll be all for this video. It was really fun watching that video. And just those kind of hunts makes you wish you were there. Like I wish I would have just been able to be in a kayak right there watching that and seeing that. Even if it wasn't hunting, just to be there and experience that. There's nothing like when ducks come in locked up and they just want the spot that you're at. And then obviously the wind picked up and helped him out a lot. So that was a great, great hunt. Amazing hunt. Glad he got that on video and was able to put that out for us to enjoy. Hope you guys like this reaction video. Check out Josh's channel and check out all the rest of the guys from the Flyways Collective. There's six of us in total. Matt from High Prairie Sportsman, Jordan from Duck Gun Chronicles, Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting, Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited, and we watched today Josh from Outdoor Limits. Check them out, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.